Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Talking Individual Program, Talking Individual Experience. Uh, I was upstairs again being remotely new and monitored by the New York Predator Department and its Predator officers who were engaging in illegal surveillance and also by the gross uh, invasion of one's privacy, of one's private thoughts and in every way okay whether well, I'm going to use the bathroom you know <laughs> what have you and it's so funny if I'm wiping my behind they use the sirens or the horn if I'm taking a pee they use the sirens of uh, the car horn so it's like you know <laughs> it's, you, you have a uh, not have a sense but you know that you have no privacy at all none so I would like to see them try to justify that and I hope there are people out there that are doing the same thing to them this is why when they get on television and talk about other states nation uh, hacking into their system it doesn't really bother me because they do the same thing they do the exact same thing as a matter of fact they started Talk about those in the security agencies here in the United States. Also, we know that police departments all across America are highly uh, militarized. We see them rolling out tanks. Uh, we see them uh, buying robots, right? Highly uh, militarized. Well, what a lot of people don't know, and again, I've said, I talked about this already, particularly the New York City Police Department, okay, which has been given the nickname the Baby CIA. And it was given that nickname for a reason. It was given that nickname because during the crack era, which was perpetrated by the US government on the black community, in order to fund their, I shouldn't say, Oh, well, let me let me let me rephrase that, which was perpetrated by some within the U.S. government to fund their illegal war. All right, I'm not going to blame the entire government for this one, except for those bad actors and actresses who held those positions within our government office, within political office, within law enforcement within the FBI, within the DAE, uh, right, or the DEA I should say, the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, right, that the CIA had embed, had embedded agents within, especially within the New York City Police Department, right, when you look at the period in which you start to see uh, not only mass inc mass incarceration but uh, but also the uh, well also suspects okay basically incriminating themselves in what is called um, see if I remember the name uh, of it uh, there is there is a name for it. confessing to crimes they didn't commit false confessions, right? In which you see police officers using torture tactics and methods, okay? <laughs> Are you okay? All right, <laughs> I didn't ask her because she's walking backwards, can't even see what's behind her, anyhow. Um, we start to see a large number of black men confessing to crimes they didn't commit. Not also that, but we also start to see police officers arresting black men and charging them for crimes and, and them being convicted for crimes they didn't commit. Okay, and no one stopped to think and wonder what's going on. Okay, what's going on? When we hear 
police officer saying that we're going to convict you regardless of whether you did the crime or not. When we see videos where you had suspects have incredible alibis, okay, and proof that they were never at the scene, at or near the scene, or in a whole totally different state while these problems are taking place, but they still get convicted. Okay, this is why we have the Innocence Project today. And this is why we continue to see particularly black men being exonerated for, you know, after spending two, three, four decades in jail for crimes they didn't commit. All right? And why do you think, particularly New York City police officers, why do you think they retire into Florida in mass? Why do you think that? Right, because they know in the state of Florida, which is a racist state as itself, with a racist government, for the most part, uh, they retire into Florida because Florida is a state that's going to protect them. At least they believe so. Right, they can. They believe that no one's going to look into their crimes and their arrests that they've made. Right. Just like in Chicago, you also had a, uh, and in New York too, you, I'm sure we have yet to find, but, but we will, these so-called black sites. That we see in Chicago, we see in, what is it, uh, Louisiana, I think, Missouri, in which they torture suspects. Again, illegal, but it's got, where does the name come from, black site? It's a CIA term name for facilities, which is off the books, in which they torture uh, people. Okay, and you see, police police departments have such facilities. All right. So, like I said, I don't just talking up. In not my opinion. It's, it's a fact. You can go look it up. All right. And then you see their unwavering support for Israel because. New York City police officers over the past two decades have been traveling to Israel for training. Not also that, but has been engaging with Israel in developing illegal surveillance tools. Right? We know that. Okay? Edward Snowden uh, leaks told us a lot. But that wasn't all. There was a whole lot more that uh, they have kept in secret in which they violate our rights every single day. I know, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.